101, I'm on the clock. Christian, white, chocolate, thunder, lightning. McCaffrey. I think that was easy. Yeah, I'm really, oh, you, really yeah, happy I got the so? 101. This is actually Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on. This is actually a tough In the E-Town Get Down draft, would you, would you have went back and drafted? Well, let me ask you. If we gave you the 101 in this pick right now. I would have taken C-Mac. Yeah. Oh, you would have taken Kamara. That's what I thought. Okay. My, I'm having a hard time right now. Like, part of me wants to. I can't do that now. I can't do that. I'm just going to be play it safe. Take a guy. Mr. Dalvin Cook. Had to do it. That's right. That's, that's the right move. Don't ask me. We're right. going to do analysis after the picks, after that. the draft. Okay. Right now, me and Snacks are going poker face to make you feel like you did a really good <laughs> job. I want to know yeah, what, what do you me. guys good think? Pick. It was a good pick, man. It was a really good pick. I, uh, you guys set this up for a T. Uh, he's, you know, I'm going to take Saquon Barkley. Oh, boy. Who did the Cowboys rotated? Hire as their head coach? Mike, Mike McCarthy. McCarthy. <sighs> he's such a bum. Disgusting. I actually don't I mean, hate him. It, that, oh, I hate it so much. It hurts someone for me. Oh, it's it's so bad. Matt, Snacks, you turn your mic. It's it, you're, it, yeah. just shut, just shut, shut your mouth. Just, just look at it and make sure the audio technician is in front of you. This isn't, this isn't that hard. That's good. Is it? Fuck. I do the same thing every... Yeah, it's right in front of me, dumbass. All right, animal on the clock. His turn. Oh, Michael Ryan Thomas. The board. Good pick. Real good pick. Yeah. I'm just a great picker. Wow. Well, what do you want from me? Mm. That's like the only wide receiver I think I would have wanted in the first round. Yeah. Everyone else sucks ass. We're going to do the picks real quick and then go back and do analysis on all the picks. But we wanted to do a surprise. Like, we did not. We had no idea who we were picking. Planned any yeah, of I'm like. Which we normally do. Let's, Animals let's are going that. off 2019 draft rankings right now. <laughs> they're, t- they're all telling him Kamara right now. Kamara, Kamara, Kamara. <laughs> this, is, this is super Take flex. Him. It's super flex, half PPR, 12-teamer. It's just my pick, Animals pick, Snacks pick, and then back again. We're just doing that. 12 teams. We're only doing the first round. Early 2020 fantasy football mock draft. Coming at your fucking domicile. I mean. What do you want? I wanted Saquon, but he took him. I feel like that would have been a great fucking... Okay, well, he's not yeah, on the well, fucking board. He's, he's if not he falls to five anywhere... Give then. me fucking Derrick Henry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Where is he? Okay. Sleeper has all the 2019 rankings. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, like, so hard to find I mean, players. Like, I hate, I hate to say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take Zeke. Okay. That was the other guy I was debating, but Michael... Yeah, I mean, I figured. Eh. Zeke, off the board at 107. I will take Lamar Jackson. Oh, do nice. Do I was gonna take him my next pick, but I didn't think. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of hate for this for him going outside like mm-hmm. the top three or four. Well, I thought I figured he's he's, he's a perfect fucking running back. To, That's exactly where you should go. Seven to twelve is like perfect for him because you all the top stud running. Well, no, we'll I'm saying we're gonna get hate for not having him higher, which What's is we're not drafting him earlier. I don't think. No, there's no way I'm not drafting him in front of any. Well, I'd probably draft him in front of Derek. All right, what am I? One eight. Is my pick? It's yes, my pick. It's your pick. Um, yo, your boy is still left. I know. I'm looking at him. I don't want to take him. But Dude, like, he's fine. Just draft him. It's good great, value here. It's, it's great value. Alvin <laughs> Kamara. <laughs> <You> stupid <laughs> motherfucker. You just don't learn your lesson, dude. Smacky poo. It's great value. You just don't learn your lesson. I'm Seven going spots to later. take. I'm going to That's take Terry Kill. No, I didn't want to take that. What? Take Tyreek Hill? Yeah. Why? I love Tyreek, but there was another guy I think Nick's going to take right now. Who? Tell me. <laughs> tell me I'm on the clock Cunt boy Well I'll see I'll tell you I love Tyreek yeah, I, I used to hate him He's unbelievable I can't tell you I will go with I'm gonna take probably Ah damn this is a tough one We'll we'll talk We'll, t- we'll discuss afterwards But this is probably Who Snacks was talking about Joe Mixon He's right I used to be a hater of him He's Gonna be in a great situation. I, I love Joe Mixon. Yeah. No, no, you didn't because you just let him fucking slip. Me? All of you. Not me. All y'all. You took Alvin Kamara. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Aaron Jones. Can't believe he's still on the board. What a okay, steal. that makes my decision much. Easier. I'm gonna take Nick Chubb. What there a steal. Go. Oh shit. All right, so we have the first twelve players locked up for a 2020 early 
mock draft. I think my draft pick's been on Q right Again, now. let's uh, let's break down the settings. So we have a 12-teamer. I'm going to stop this recording, right? Superflex, stop that recording. Yeah, the screen. Make sure you save that. Save it to your desktop. Upload it to a fucking... I'm going to save it. Some kind of cloud, a box, or something, animal. I'm going to save you. Print it out. <laughs> I'm going to save you. This is what you do to all your computer files. You talk to them. No, you guys don't know that's from. You call me a fucking weirdo. That's from um, (laughs) uh, the court is in session. Pineapple Express. All right, all right. I'm gonna save you. Yeah, okay, you're right. Joe Judge. Twelve teams, super flex, half PPR. We're looking at twenty. Motherfucking twenty. Twenty nineteen just ended. Twenty nineteen still going. The playoffs are here. (sighs) What a great weekend of of uh, playoffs, by the way, for the NFL. Yeah. Oh my, two overtime games. Great fucking weekend. Yeah, it was good. Okay. So we we, we got robbed at a Philly game. That sucks. Let's break down these picks. I'm not so, mad about it. Fuck so, Philly. Die, uh, Eagles, die. I started off with Chris McCaffrey at the 101. I don't really think this needs any fucking analysis, but the guy no. uh, went for a G and a G, receiving and rushing, and he was the third player uh, of all time baby. to do that. He won our fantasy Quite award uh, MVP. Last week, we did the fantasy football award for 2019. The award show was, thank you, uh, Scott, for doing that after I fired you. That's fucking very generous charity work you did. Go check that out if you missed it. So Chris McCaffrey's the one on one. I don't think there's really any argument there, regardless of the league type standard PPR. He's got a little something something for everybody. Almost 300 carries, 1400 yards on the ground, 15 rushing touchdowns. He caught a 116 fucking passes. It's crazy, unbelievable. It's absolutely insane. So um, yeah, nothing much more to say with Chris McCaffrey. Is there anyone that could even like when we get to the end of August? Are there going to have been Is other there, discussions coming out like? Oh, so Quan Barkley could probably be the one on one. You know, no, like, I'm sure there will. There will. There's, right? there's always going to be. I think you're going to see it's going to be like a, a rotation between like maybe uh, C Mac, Dalvin Cook, and Saquon. Okay. Yeah, and, I or maybe what percentage even, of league? I'll, I'll put the over under at uh, eighty nine and a half percent. The percentage of leagues where Christian McCaffrey is the one on one over. Yeah, it's over. It's got to be like ninety seven percent. The only guy I could see, and yes, Dalvin Cook, unbelievable year. Finally got healthy. The only guy I could see. In my opinion, and it's not even biased, I would take Saquon. Love I'm, not, not, I'm, I'm serious. I think about I think, it, you know, I think his rookie, takes, your look takes at would his come off year. less biased if you didn't say it was yeah, not going to be I know. biased. But do you guys no, no, disagree? You're right, you're right. Do you disagree? Like, I'm he's not the saying one I guy. Would, he's the one guy that I know could explode for like 40 any game. He's like the one McCaffrey. guy the fantasy he could, community will rally around to be like, no, he deserves to be the one-on-one, even though he doesn't. It's Christian McCaffrey. Let's not fuck around. No, 100,000. I was talking about number two. Like, where you. you go number I two. I got you. Yeah. At 102, you took Dalvin Cook. Yes. Over Saquon Barkley. And I don't blame yes. you. I think I honestly might do the same thing. It, I don't and I'll break it down for you why I did it. It's really simple. It's the <laughs> offensive line. It's the, the teams, the That's offensive crazy. line. The, the, the Vikings are on the rise, and the Giants, they're like – kind of just staying like where they are right now we don't know where they're going to be where they're going new coach all this stuff so i love how he takes that personally all right it's no dude, no, give me, it's, no dude, i like get Garrett it. Like, bradbury's emerging as a great offense like all these the, the vikings offensive right, lines coming pick. together a pick by them and dalvin cook has showed you that he can do it so yeah he showed me for Listen. one year yes granted saquon hasn't for two i understand that but dalvin also got hurt the end of the year didn't he I mean, that's not a real injury. It, what do you mean it's not a real injury? He looked injury. pretty okay the other day. Let's talk about this real quick. There's a lot of coaching changes going on in the league right now. Kevin Stefanski is their OC. I think he's going to be the Browns coach. Um, so he was their OC, right? We saw him at the end of 2018. This was a, a reason people were buying into Dalvin Cook this year because Stefanski took over the last three games of 20, uh, 2018 and their running percentage, right? They were a very pass-heavy team in the beginning of 2018, right? Yeah, that's why Diggs and Thielen were both going nuts. Uh, then he comes over, and they're like the run heaviest team ever. And now going it's into also, this year, that's part of Kubiak too. Sure, yeah, it's part of Kubiak. But Stefanski was the guy kind of calling the plays there. Yeah, and now he's interviewing for other spots. So I, they they I get a new OC around. that's not as run heavy. I mean, what's that uh, mean for Dalvin? I think as long as Kubiak's there, they're still running the ball. That's his like Fair. he's the assistant head coach. Just so. playing devil's advocate. Over yeah, there. Well, hold no. on, time out. But that's I, that's why I'm not worried. I, I don't think it should be gone without saying. No, he absolutely looked fine walk our weekend this past week. He still gets banged up. Dude, yep. you act like the Saquon le- wasn't hurt half the year either, yeah. right? See, everyone gets hurt. It happens. Okay. Part of the NFL. If you let me finish. It's physical I, sport. I no, you don't get to finish. <laughs> Stupid arguments. Okay. 103, Saquon Barkley. We'll see. We'll see. He, has, he doesn't Saquon have a Barkley. history like Dalvin Cook does. Shut Dalvin your, Cook has a history. One year. What are you talking about, years. dumb I mean, fuck? You, about, you want to talk about college? No. For no, his, you, his rookie I, and sophomore here. You host a fantasy football podcast? I mean, you, you don't know Dalvin Cook's been hurt? Technically. For, for the better part of a fucking year For the better part, half? not the whole. 
the better part. All right, All so right. Quan Barkley went on three. We're willing to write off. Bitch. I if I get Saquon at three, I'm I'm stealing it. I take him too. So you take him at 102. At one, I do. At yeah. 103, what do you do? I do. I take Cook. Or you, actually, no. I probably take your next pick. You take Michael Thomas. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I think I think for the most part, I I, I think we're going to see a lot of Lamar Jacksons up at in, in the top three or four picks. I really do. I it's think not. It's not crazy. I think at the four. I, I think for the most part, we're going to see C Mac, Dalvin Cook, Saquon Barkley, kind of interchangeable. Yeah. Uh, at, at at those top three guys, and then at the four, I think it's going to get a little dicey. Most people will probably go with Michael Thomas, um, which is where I ended up going. I think, I mean, as they should. Yeah, I mean, we we talk about Michael Thomas coming to the year as probably the safest wide receiver of those like upper echelon guys, and yeah, he turned yeah. out to be not only like the safest, but the best. Like, One hundred and eighty six. He's the best. Targets. He's the best wide And he did it with Drew Brees, yeah. with Tay Bridgewater, with Taysom Hill. It didn't that was matter. Be my point. One hundred forty nine receptions, seven hundred twenty five yeah. yards, nine touchdowns. I mean, the the, the question mark for Michael Thomas obviously we're filming this in January is who's throwing the ball they have zero quarterbacks that under, doesn't matter under, oh it matters I'm not worried about it it, it matters. doesn't matter not after what well, we just it, saw with Taysom Hill Teddy Bridgewater it one matters. way uh, well Taysom I, I hope it's not Taysom Hill I, I hope it's I not either but. Hill, but you have to figure it's Drew Brees or Teddy Bridgewater it's one way yeah, or the other I do uh, yeah 100% so, so I, that I assume it's going to be Drew Brees I understand what you're saying yeah. but it, it doesn't matter at the worst Teddy Bridgewater backing him up again or maybe even getting the job so I don't mind Teddy either no, I, I mind, I mind. Teddy, he was still wide receiver one. It I doesn't know. matter. Listen, if Teddy's the quarterback for the Saints next year, Michael Thomas is. I'm not taking him four overall. You guys are you guys are ludicrous if you're taking him four overall with Teddy Bridgewater. I mean, I maybe mean, not four over maybe like it's a six. Okay, over a I'll probably Zeke take him a six. A fucking, well, no. I, well, where we see Zeke now? No, absolutely not. I would. I'm, I'm saying if Bridgewater. Five, let me know if if fucking Bridgewater is the quarterback for the Saints next year. Where are you drafting Michael Thomas? I don't think that's. I don't think. I don't think it really changes that much. Yes, for me look between. at the games where he played with him. Like, yeah, he had some big games, but he also hit his worst games came with Teddy Bridgewater. And his center. worst games were still like. Yeah, but that's also PPR, once they're sure. you know, a whole off season together. I know like exactly what I'm getting. Look, you can usually set up with a running back. It's kind of difficult with a wide receiver because they could be taken out by a game plan with with triple quadruple teams that never happened with Michael Thomas he literally scored like 13 points a game he caught at least eight balls a game right or a touchdown whatever the case was you know exactly what you're gonna get with him just all in, not, and with all, Teddy none, too just zero facts <laughs> wait wait how is that not facts look it up I'm looking it up right now that's what I'm saying so tell me he had a game tell me where I'm wrong week 17 4 for 37 week, week 17 week is 13 not the, week 6 17 for 48 is not in the fantasy playoffs week, week 13 6 for 48 week 3 6 for 48 is how many points you Four. said he either had 8 catches or a touchdown the, okay, that fucking puts you out okay, of your so way okay so you mentioned one game I just mentioned two games. Week 17 does not count. Yes, it does. We Why know? does week 17 count? Okay, so Chris McCaffrey didn't have a 1,000. Aren't 1, we 000? talking about fantasy? We're, yeah, fantasy. but if we're talking about overall season statistics. Yeah, fantasy did you want? Did you? But he doesn't just, you don't. Uh, fantasy season one through 16. Uh, look, no, no, no. It's predictive. I, I hate sorry, agreeing I, with snacks. I, I disagree. I have to agree with snacks I'm sorry. on this one. But either way, I proved you wrong on the other one. Okay, why don't you show me the numbers with Teddy Bridgewater? Why it's so different. Teddy Bridgewater. I, I'm not. I'm not like busting chops. I just no, want to know. This is it, fine. Um, in the games, Teddy Bridgewater took over as a starter. His first game, I guess he took over in week two, but that was like halfway through the game. Maybe I don't know if that. We'll go to week three. Okay, week three, seven targets, five catches, fifty-four yards. The next week, nine targets, nine catches, ninety-five yards. So I'm just saying the target totals are a little bit down. Nine for nine. Okay, a little bit down. They're, That's fine. I understand that. Yeah, and he picks it back up. He does, absolutely. But I'm just saying there's a fucking drop-off between Breeze and Bridgewater when it comes to Thomas. I'm not taking him top three or four. All right. If, that, if That's fair. I, I, get that. I get that. I also watched Drew Breeze on Sunday. That guy does not have it anymore. Mm. I think he's fucking shot. I don't know about all that. I agree. I, I mean, did you watch the game? I'm off did the you watch train. the season at all? I watched yeah, the whole one game that you I saw watched, that looked like he was shot. That's what no. people have been saying about Tom Brady for the last fucking five years. Yeah, come on. Here's the thing. Here's my quick analysis, real, 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 real quick, Rudy. Drew Brees doesn't throw the ball deep. Doesn't throw the ball deep anymore. It's all about short, Does accurate passes. No. That's not my. All about game, short, though. accurate passes. Teddy Bridgewater can do that. Okay. That, I'm that, confident. That's just a blanket statement. I'm though. confident that Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy Bridgewater, can go in there and produce. At that same level, and so that can offense I. can and be throw just Thomas as the wall fourteen times just a game. as electric. Yeah, because it's it's all about the short passes, those 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 possessions, the the wide the wide receivers get open in space. I mean, Teddy Listen, Bridgewater can. Hey, we agree to disagree. I love it. I don't care who's love it. We're quarterback. Starting off early, we're starting off hot. There's going to be a lot of fucking Michael Tom- it's, madness it's all, this summer. I, think, I uh, almost look at I almost look at Michael Thomas as like a DeAndre Hopkins type when Case Keenum was throwing the ball in Houston and he was still putting up massive numbers. 
Teddy Bridgewater is better. Saying. Teddy Bridgewater is better than any quarterback well, thing, Houston had. It's while DeAndre Hopkins was still killing. What did we game. say it was? What was it? Thirty-two percent target share. Something like that. Yeah. That's 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 it right there. It the doesn't guy, matter who's throwing the ball. Unbe- he's he's a, getting thirty-two percent of the targets. He's unbelievable. You throw the ball near his direction, he's going to catch it. I don't yeah. know. It's just the guys with like Teddy Bridgewater are just like. People's opinions change on them every single week. He'll, not, he'll have a not, game where he goes 167 passing yards. Am, yeah, he could be like a Kyle like, Allen, oh, like this year's, this year's not, Kyle I'm Allen. Not even, I'm not even yeah. sticking up for Teddy. I get I'm just it. Saying. Snacks loves Teddy. No, I don't. I think we're talking about he Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater. I'm talking Thomas about Michael much. Thomas. I'm talking about that's it. Snacks loves Teddy Bears. He loves Teddy Bridgewater. I hate Teddy Bears, by the way. And and Snacks, were you taking Derrick Henry? Because Animal took him at one. I probably took him third round. Stop it! Don't be so disrespectful. Okay, so why why one hundred five? Why over Zeke? Why over Zeke? It was a slight argument we need because uh, McCarthy. I just don't know how. I I remember him in with the Packers. They threw the ball every fucking play. They did. It was every play seventy percent. It was literally it was a it was a a back shoulder fade every fucking play. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know this this summer for their doubt for that offense. Yeah, I just don't. It's too much of a mystery right now. It's, it's too much. I know Derrick Henry is going to be getting the rock. So wait, no, huh. They're going to fucking run it with Zeke. Yeah, I'm sure they but will. Wait, 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 wait. I, I got two. I got two questions about this pick. Eddie Lacy fell off the earth. One, where is Derrick Henry playing? He's an unrestricted. Free I don't agent. care where he's playing as long as they give him the rock. I see. I don't. I, I, don't, I, don't and he's, I don't necessarily. He's staying agree in Tennessee. With that. He's staying in Tennessee. They're going to give him the biggest contract he's ever had. All right, Derrick any, Henry any goes running to back New ever. Orleans behind Teddy Bridgewater. <laughs> then what? What then, snacks? One on one. Love that. One on one. Can't not do it. All right. No, all right. I, I think it's a. I think it's a reasonable it's question I'm, though. Yeah. Like, where's he's he gonna, gonna stay go? in Tennessee? I think he stays in Tennessee too. Yeah. So do I. I. I don't think they that, could lose that him, team especially is after built this. around him. Can they franchise tag him? Yeah. 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 Or are they? They're no. Nah, they're gonna give Tannehill uh, an actual contract. Probably. Which they, they have. Uh, they have a lot of interesting decisions. Three years. I think they said it was gonna be. They already gave, They didn't give it. No, I think that's what they were planning. It's like a three-year, like seventy million or something like that. Check the facts on that one. Animal. All right, so we had Derrick Henry at 105. We have Zeke at 106. Uh, Snacks, I believe that was your pick. Uh, yeah. Fuck! I'm taking Ezekiel Elliott. I mean, how do I not? If I took Zeke, would but, you have taken Derrick Henry? Uh, no, I would have taken Lamar Jackson. Love that. I'm just getting all the value picks here. Sorry, right? it's it's not a Derrick Henry thing. I, I I got the RB one, the yeah. the WR one, and the QB one. I'm not. I, mean, I can't not take Zeke. The guy's too talented. They paid him four hundred thousand million dollars a year. So they're gonna run him to the ground. I think I think that was a major selling point with Jerry too. They never like when they won, they run the ball in Dallas. Like with Garrett and everybody. McCarthy definitely went in there like we're gonna pound the ball with, with that's, Zeke. Listen, and I a hundred percent think that's, that's great. what's gonna happen. Listen, but if, if if they're down fourteen, they're not gonna be Dude, he got seventy two targets too, this year. Yeah, yeah. That was good. <sighs> See, I said that was what? That, when we. I was going to talk about how much better he was in the past game this yeah, year. Yeah, take too that long to get your fucking. Why I'm, wanted... I'm fucking slow. I was watching Jeopardy. Exactly. He you was can't one be of... slow around a fucking. He was going to be my one on one. Fast motherfuckers. He was going to be my one on one before the holdout. Sorry, sorry. Last Scott. year, sorry. Scott. Yeah, we yeah, said we were right, thinking about how he's going to be if if he had that production that he had the year before and now gets involved in the passing game and it's he only had six touchdowns. It's going to be fucking through the roof. Zeke's talent could be through the roof. With the ceiling. Zeke, no doubt. We got to talk about the, the Dallas Cowboys. We're going to do it this offseason. They're going to have some major questions. Yeah. Amari Cooper has a massive extension coming. Gone. I so does Dak. I, really? But they traded yeah. a first-round pick. They better sign him, man. 2020. Yeah. He's, an unrestri- he's, Dallas, he's, he's an unrestricted Dallas free agent. Put your life on it right now. I'm not that I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Wait, that no, I'm he's no, no, an no, unrestricted free agent. I could see him not being in Dallas though. I just don't think I can't see Jerry Jones letting that slip through his fingers after getting him for a first round pick. See, I agree. I agree. It's too. Like, it's almost a pride thing. Who's he? What about the? Uh, wait, Jerry, hold on. Paid all the defense already. What's what? What did the Patriots do with Brandon Cooks when they rented him for a year for a first round pick? They, they got traded him, him for a first round pick, but then but only for a year. So it'd be the same situation. Just no. giving up a first for getting a guy for a year? They no, they get, they they got like did they I get like some they comp- signed like a third pick for him. or something? They got like a third, a, a compensatory th- third for him. I, I could be no, no, no I'm saying wrong. when they brought him in, when they brought Cooks in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I thought they swapped a first for Cooks. No, no, no. I, you, no, you may be right. You may, but I, then I think I, they got I, something. Like, I don't you remember. Know, I don't they were like, oh, what a genius trade by the Patriots. Because yeah. once he left, they got like something back. They got a first round pick. Yeah, for probably him. they probably got a compensatory. Pick. That's what I mean, like some shit like, like that. A third. So I don't yeah. know that, 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 I just said that, that a compensatory time. pick. Really good organization. That's what you said. We're, good franchise we're looking to bring on three niche people for big dogs this off season. We're looking to and bring give on, us trade stuff, we're gonna, we're salary gonna, cap. We're gonna need a lawyer. We're gonna need a weatherman, and we're gonna need whatever the fuck you would 
like talk about that shit. Like, a weather woman. We need a compensatory. We need, we need, yeah, we, a weather we need, woman. That we need a guy. Preferably that Spanish girl need, from like a really popular meme Ooh, like two years ago. Yeah, you don't need to know hold anything on, about hold weather. Hold it just look good. We need a guy. We need a guy. To subtitle what me and animals say because yeah. it never makes we sense. We need a Don Vito so, guy. Please. He's a big Don Vito guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, but for real, like Amari Cooper, that he's in real danger of leaving. We need a compensatory. If guy. If you think about it, or girl, Dallas's defense, their money's tied up in the defense. If they want to keep it's it, fucking said. Do they really want to have over 150 million dollars? I want 100 in total yeah, with I'm Zeke, serious. with Zeke, Dak, and Amari. That's a that's a big question. That's like uh, snacks. What do you think would happen if? <laughs> Jerry Jones started a Shark Tank kind of show, and you were the first. Well, I wouldn't guy. watch Shark Tank's like one of my favorite shows. You're the ever. first guy. No, no, no. Like you were able no. to go in there and talk to him. Like he was sitting down. He's like, "Why should I give you 150 million dollars? It's all enough." I wouldn't present my case. It's spit on his face. You would. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It'd be good TV. I, I would probably get go, I go up to his face. For I go up. I go up to his face. It's been. I almost did that. What six years ago when I saw him outside the stadium? I tried to hop over the barricade. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? All right, 107. Sorry, this is the most absurd mock draft. That was that was a crazy 106. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, right. What I are thought, we even talking about? We're not even yeah. close to the second Sorry, round. Sorry, we took a hit of acid before we started the show. It's probably it's hitting right about now, and that's why I took Lamar Jackson to 107. Like I said, I I think we're gonna hear a lot in the comment section about um about how Lamar can go. Higher. And I would not argue with anybody that took him as high as probably the one. I, I think I would take him behind the first three running backs. But here's the argument to be made. Okay, so Patrick Mahomes coming off his historic year in 2018. He's so short. We'll, we'll, we'll assume that Patrick Mahomes was basically picked around where Lamar Jackson is. He's a regression go this year. candidate. But. Is he? Right. So that's the thing. With Patrick Mahomes, it was yeah. pure passing, pure crazy, crazy touchdowns. Lamar does everything. Lamar is it, the style of play he's he has. He's not going to stop running. There's, no, regress, there's yeah. no regressing on the running. But someone did tweet at me that uh, Lamar Jackson's touchdown passing rate was at like 8.1% point, like 8. of his throws were yeah. touchdowns. Which is and that's like where gonna, Patrick Mahomes was. And yeah. no one stays at that level. No. So his passing numbers are probably going to come down this year. But I'd argue that like the safety blanket he gives you with the rushing is so fucking high that he's going to give you at least like six 30 point games. So like when, when you're talking oh, about, I would Lamar say Jackson, more than that. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the floor is going to be like fucking 16 points. Right. So here's, so. here's the thing. Like one of the, one of the lessons that people should take away floor. from this year. Oh, the floor. Yeah, dude, probably higher than that. That's, that, that's what 20, I mean. Yeah. The, the floor is higher. Well, here's really the thing with Lamar Jackson. Like if you're going to go and draft somebody that might be like somewhat of a question mark this year, like right behind him, Alvin Kamara, like maybe he's not a question mark, but maybe, you know, last year wasn't a fluke. He like, who knows? Right. Lamar Jackson is a guy, like, in fantasy football, it doesn't have to be hard sometimes. Just draft really good players yeah. on your team. Yeah. And you know you're getting that with Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Right? I, I'm, I'm getting the at cornerstone the point of your team right there. And he's not – He's not, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, saying, I'm almost at the point where in a one QB league, I'd take him in the first round. No. That's crazy. Fuck it. No, that's Just crazy. take him and get him. No and then way. you have the whole – you don't no have to worry way. about the position at all. You draft but the that, rest that's, of your squad. That's the other argument to be had here. If Lamar Jackson is going to be arguably a first-round pick in one quarterback leagues – how is he not like the 101 in Superflex, where right. their value like, is right. so much higher? Exactly. Like the yeah. 111. There's someone, no. Someone's gonna I, write an I don't. Article. I couldn't do that. I, I think I would. No, I couldn't either. either. I could if not. I had the last pick, yeah. I'd take him with like the first uh, two one. I'd take him. One twelve two one. Maybe. Why not? All right. Well, that's a different. You have your quarterback. Now, okay. The rest fine. Of your team you can draft. Right. If I'm drafting, if, wide receiver. if I'm drafting one twelve, fine. Maybe. You know you're getting what you know what you're getting versus taking a chance. Someone's gonna write an article this off this year. Okay, but you know what? All right. Hear me out and. He has shown no injury prone, nothing at all, right? I'm not even talking about like injuries. Just no, like, no, no, no. I know. I, I'm, I'm like, about dude, to say Kamara we thought the really same thing about RG. Was, we thought the same thing about RG three seven years ago. Lamar's whenever it was, though. Lamar's different. I know he is. He's absolutely different. That guy gets hit way, way too much. If I'm a Baltimore Ravens fan, I hold my breath every time he fucking runs. He doesn't slide. He's got to learn how to slide. He's got to learn how to do something. He's unbelievable. He, he does There's a lot no, of things. <laughs> he has. And I am the first to admit, dead wrong about him. I thought the Chargers yeah. put the blueprint out. I you was were, so you were wrong. Dead wrong. Now I'm saying I'll take him in the first round. So Is there any is there any any doubt that defenses pick up on him next year? No. Like it's I impossible mean, to stop him in the open. Here's field. the thing. Here's the thing. Like they built their entire offense around Lamar. And I They I, did it great. Arguably yeah. have we I don't know if we've ever seen like we've seen running quarterbacks succeed in the NFL. 
But that, they don't was, let. that was despite their offenses not building around their strengths. Right. Like they you just, see they Michael just Vick run. go they nuts just because run. he's a runner. They but just, Lamar yeah. Jackson, legitimately, they just built the offense around him, which is why I think they're going to continue to have success. Because right. we've never, had, we I never see, had a defense need to plan. See, I, I, I agree yeah, with I mean, that. Other, I agree I with that. But Cam Newton kind of had it. I agree with that. Yeah. His rookie year a little bit, and then, you know, but a couple he, of those other but, like, but he was great over the first five years of his. I agree with that. But at some point in the NFL, unless like you're Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, Everything comes to an end. You're right. Oh, Does yeah. it happen next year? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Here's think the so. other thing, too. Like, but it bro, will come to an end. Something needs to be said about Lamar Jackson doing what he did this year with, who is his wide receiver one? <laughs> Marquise Brown? Was he? <laughs> barely Andrews. Andrews. Yeah. That's what I mean. The, the, his weapon on the outside? Fucking Willie Well, Steve? that's why he's Are like a running me? back, and that's why I understand what Animal's saying. Like, I'll draft him first round. Oh, in, in, a, in, a, in a one QB. My, my, like argument is, my argument is this. If, if you're going to even think about him in the first round of a one quarterback, how is he not higher in a... No, no, no. Of course. You like, know? for super flex, I, if I took him one-on-one, I may not be mad. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... I, I, I think well, the, the reason... No, one-on-two, like, like, but... The reason for that is yeah. just because there's you know, other positions are more scarce. So, if yeah. you have the one-on-one, you want to make sure Fair. that you can get you, a C-Mac. You could win with a Josh Allen and a and a Matt Ryan. Yeah, as your, but as, as long as you have a C-Mac. Flex, they're not more scarce because starting quarterbacks are all Yeah, I know. Oh, well, yes, of course. That's why he's I'm, sa- one I'm saying, though, like, I'm higher. saying from, like, the top three of picks, if you want to take one of those running backs or, or Michael Thomas, I'm not going to fall I'd be you. fine taking I'm not gonna fall uh, you. Lamar top five. Okay. Absolutely. So would I. That's why I was gonna. I thought about taking him there, but surprised you didn't take uh, once, Alvin Kamara. Once 08. we get closer, I feel like this will be much more of an interesting conversation to see, like yeah. where we yeah. really think Lamar could end up going. Yeah. He might listen. He might have a career-ending neck injury in the divisional round, so you never know. I mean, that's. I hope not. I actually, I, I was so wrong. True. I was, I was so wrong on Lamar. I really enjoy watching him play. Yeah, me too, man. The hardest thing in the world, I think, is to project quarterbacks coming into the NFL. Yeah, yeah. you don't know. No one has literally a fucking idea. I think you know, I think we're so pretty good variables. at projecting running backs and wide receivers. That's are easy. Very tough too. They're running the ball. Running backs. They're running the ball. Wide receivers. We're running the ball. We have their athletic data, get. which is like ninety-five yeah. percent of what you need to know for them, and like that's really it. Wide receivers. You don't know who's right. targeting, how many targets. Yeah. What? Let's talk know. about uh, Alvin Kamara. And how you went back to the well on him. How, what did it take with it? Like, how did you put your pride aside and take him again right now in this after he's doing you so dirty last year? It's a value. You're talking about a guy that was a top three pick, and now I can get him at the end of the first round. With the, the upside of him still being able to produce at the high level. Over 80 receptions every year he's of. been in the league. Yeah. And, and, and listen, 80, we're talking 80, about, 80, 80, 80, 80. We're talking about a running back here who catches balls, and this is fantasy football, and... That's a huge part. Teddy B is the quarterback. Teddy B is the quarterback. I mean, I probably don't take him there. Why? I thought this offense fucking, he's so good at short passes. Michael Thomas. doesn't matter. Michael Thomas. That's what, fine. What is that? What, what the fuck does that mean? Because I, too many, <laughs> Michael Thomas is still going to be the number one target, whereas Alvin Kamara, who knows what's going to happen with all that shit. That, who knows? There's too much mystery. Whereas if they bring a new quarterback, system can change versus Michael Thomas is still the, the cool Michael guy. Thomas is still the wide receiver one though, so it doesn't matter what system. He's still the number one target. Alvin Kamara, that, all that shit could change if you know uh, Drew Brees leaves. So I wouldn't take him there if Drew Brees is gone. Snacks thoughts on uh, Alvin Kamara at the one hundred eight? Uh, no, really, you're off no. on the one hundred eight. I I see Great value. I okay Be value. Realistic. B- value based on fucking what? Because you took him one last year. Yeah, you're looking at last year's value. I, yeah. I do see it though. Okay, so here's the thing. Exactly. The only thing that was missing this year. How do I trust this guy? They're, they're going to bring Latavius Murray back or not? They're going to bring five touchdowns. Guy. Five more touchdowns this year. He has a great year. He had no touchdowns. Okay, okay. If 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 my aunt had my Good. fucking ball, she'd be my uncle. Stop. Okay, but he Stop. you act like he can't score those touchdowns. I never next year. said he couldn't. But I'm going based on what I fucking saw. Why would I take? I saw a guy who t- couldn't get in the end zone was right there. So and next year he could get in. Could could. Cut, it's his cut. position. That's what he's gonna do. I'm take. We're going to my next pick, Nick. I am not a fan. The, everybody in front of Alvin Kamara that was taken, I take before him. Kamara's gonna and be I a take fantastic th- fucking like, value. Top. No, he's gonna be a fantastic topic of conversation this offseason. A hundred percent, hundred percent. And in Eta, he's gonna go probably ten well, or eleven or something like that. Hold on, hold on. Different. No, no, I need to cut you off there. Please, Saquon Barkley. Yeah. High ankle sprain. Absolutely. Really bad for right. the next six, seven yeah, weeks. Yeah, fine. Alvin Kamara, high angle sprain, same exact time frame. They both exploded back onto the scene as soon as they were over it. Right. The Saints always use two backs. The Giants have one back. 
and he's their best player. Been able to do yeah, it. I, I, the I don't disagree. I back. don't disagree. I'm just saying, I, had he, first had of all, high ankle sprain, Kamara would likely be a consensus top three four. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Though I'm, I'm, I'm also, I've been. He wasn't I've great before that. Player, he wasn't great before as I've that. Better as a fantasy player, I do start to get more pessimistic on guys like this. He was not. He seems he, like he could be a trap. This year, where I think just so like, too. You just want to write off everything bad that happened. You're like, See, okay, maybe the signs are a there. A trap maybe is a great word there. for it. A trap is a great word for it. Because everyone will automatically just say, no, he's in a great system. This he's is why he's failed last Right. Year. Bah, 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 bah. I'm taking, I'd rather, if you, give me <laughs> if you give me 100 chances, I'd take Barkley over Kamara in a draft. Okay. Yeah. All right, right now, Joe 100. Mixon, Alvin Kamara. I'd take Joe Mixon going into next year. Ooh, that's a great fucking. That's a great. Uh, it's it's question. too close. It's too far away right now to really. Play. I watched Joe Mixon. The end of the I year. would have them right and, next to each other. And see, you admit, people can admit when they're wrong. That's how you know they're a bigger person. I admit when I was wrong. I did not love Joe Mixon. Watching him at the end of the year with a miserable fucking makeshift offensive line. Next year, uh, can yeah, I love. He's Joe got Jonah Williams year. back. He's gonna have Jake Burrow. He's gonna have, he's gonna have all. Yeah. He's gonna have John Ross back stretching the field. Joe Mixon is going to be a top ten pick, and he he should be. That guy's way too talented. So why I love way too talented. Why'd you take Tyreek Hill over? Because I love Tyreek Hill. <laughs> what did I tell you? This was, it was the same thing. I, was, I don't know who to... I, I tossed it up. Tyreek Hill to me, 109. Love that's Tyreke. where we're at now. I love Tyreek too. How do I not? There's going to be a lot he of... He is... I think he, it, I think he should be the wide receiver too for sure. We're going to get he's a lot of defen- He's defense proof. Devontae he's, Adams, you need to get... I think these are the only two wide receivers that should be going in the first round. And it's and it's the two that we drafted in the, in the first round. Yep. Yeah. Tyreek Hill is... Debatable D-hop. No, I don't think so. Debatable. I don't think so anymore. Maybe. Tyreek Hill is defender-proof. Defense-proof. He does anything. When he's on the field, it doesn't matter. Mahomes just throw it down. He He'll gets go those fly around a every time. So it's, yeah. it's, ins- not like- it's insane. He may have one catch for 80 yards. That's all you need. Not, not even score. Go on the one-yard line. He still gets you nine points a game. He's that fast. He gets down the field more than... Easily. Yeah, easily I mean, listen, better than anybody. Was, he still had a good year, and he was hurt, he was hurt for, what, half the year? year? And it yeah. was like a significant injury. Right. Where, you know, it wasn't like you know, he, he was going to miss the whole season, but it was. it's going to be a nagging injury. It's going to affect the way you play a little bit. I and, think he'll be okay. Well, no, I, I'm saying this season it did. I'm thinking next yeah, 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 season, yeah, yeah. For oh. sure, for sure, yeah. I'm not worried. That, that's why I'm taking him. And, yes, Nick, to your point, in your 110 spot, that was my other pick, and the way I just talked about him, I take him over Kamara. So, finish it up. Um, yes. Sorry, I was looking up some deep deep stats on Tyreek. Uh, I forgot uh, he missed a bunch of games. So I couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah. Um, good ass pick. So yeah, Tyreek Kill. I absolutely love him too. Um, so Joe Mixon at the one ten. You basically broke down everything we needed to see. He was a fucking animal over the last portion of the season. I do want to see him get more involved in the passing game. I really, really yeah, that would do. be nice. Um, well, Joe Bernard should, mean, should be dead by now. Miserable. The offense really, was like, miserable. Yeah. Um, they'll have Burrows. They'll have. We, uh, they'll have uh, Jonah, Williams, Jonah back. Williams back. I'm sure they'll address mm-hmm. the offensive line even more. They just extended uh, one of their linemen who was a surprise kind of breakout this year. So they're solidifying that piece by piece. They'll have a legitimate offense next year with, um, like you said, uh, what's his name, spread in the field. Who's the other wide receiver? John Ross. John Ross, John Ross Tyler Boyd. Aud- uh, I'd Aud- like Aud- to see Aud- Auden Tate come back. Yeah, so they could have a sneaky good offense. They, I, I like that they were a high pass percentage team. The pace was pretty good. So once they start over with a clean slate, Team should be good. Again, I do want to see a little bit more work in the passing game, but Joe Mixon proved that he can get it done on the ground. If he does get that passing work, if he gets like a, a I see him as like an Aaron Jones okay. the year before. Uh, Aaron uh, Jones was let good. Me answer but this. Answer this. If if we were told going into the year, Joe Mixon, Ezekiel Elliott are getting the exact same number of targets in 2020, who are you taking in fantasy? Mixon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking Zeke. I'm, I think I'd still take Zeke. But I, I want to see too Zeke much play. better. I'm if taking. Mi- I think play. Mixon's a better talent. Yeah. He, no. I'm all on board. I'm sorry. I, so. I. I. Listen. Maybe it's because that I was so hard against him, and now I realize what he is. Maybe that's a recency bias kind of thing. You give me the 73 targets Dude, that Zeke had for Mixon. Was anyone ever really like not on Mixon because of his talent? It was more just because his team and well, his, situa- his, his best si- offensive no, 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 lineman went down like a weak. Player, though, right? Be- no, like, I didn't. You know. I didn't. And I was, listen, I was dead fucking wrong. I didn't like the Dude, situation. Target. He went 10 targets I didn't like the situ- from I didn't like the- and played in two more games. I didn't like the situation. I didn't love the player. I liked the player. I didn't love him. The Finley game. And I was dead that, fucking actually. wrong. I take Joe Mixon. I am very high on Joe Mixon. Uh, no, nah, he was kind of spread out all that over. That guy, he is 
He's a hell of a fucking talent. Great runner. He was so bad in the beginning. Like, dude, weeks one. He was really bad. Yards, yeah. Week two, 17, yeah, I mean, the 60, team was 60, And I was, start, I was starting yeah. to feel right. But they were always terrible. And also, the week one, I think they threw it like 50 fucking times. Yeah, they did. I'm just saying. Like, Either way, he's got to get some of those targets bad, out of the backfield. Second half no, of the year, they started they started pounding the rock to him. And won and you saw games. the talent. Yes, well, I like him where he is right here. I like him at the end of the first. I think that's a good pick. I think I don't think I would want to take him in the early I think he'll keep creeping up. I think he'll keep getting in that argument. What I think is Zeke will probably go five. And then at the six, it's going to be an argument between like mixing Derrick Henry and Alvin Kamara. Yeah. Um, that's what's probably going to happen. But yeah, we need to see more work in the passing game a little bit, but otherwise he's good bet. So you went with Aaron Jones. This is an interesting pick here at 111. Yeah, dude. The guy was a beast. There's no fucking arguing yeah. that. But it's he's probably a little recency bias for sure. Yeah. Because it's, um, it's fresh in my head. But if nothing changes in that Green Bay I'm offense. Just, exactly. I don't. Do, do, do you see Jamal Williams like taking that role? Do you see anyone taking no. the role from Aaron Jones? No. But the thing is, like, that that he will have. Jamal Williams not taking a role, but he's going to take his role that he. But that's fine. He have. had his role this year, and yeah. Aaron Jones was still. What did yeah. he finish as? The RB, like, two. I yeah. Think. So. Overall. Uh, it doesn't worry him at all. Uh, nothing. I don't see any big changes happening to that team. I see that team being the same team. Pretty much so. With Aaron Jones, it's, it's just like there's, there's just like something always there. Like uh, you don't know what it's, it is. It's not sexy. It's always like this. Like these. It's crazy it's not because sexy. It, like and he's also been touchdown dependent numerous times. Well, this is what well, I mean. Like yeah. there's so many like uh-huh. oh there's this little red flag and this little red flag and blah blah blah. It's like at one point does all those little things that you're nervous about. You know the 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 workhorse role, the touchdown dependency, the injuries, whatever. At what point do those add up to like? I mean, you, you say touchdown dependent, and he did have fucking. Um, 19 touchdowns this year, but he also went over 1,550 yards from scrimmage. Yeah, he, yeah, also, he also, for sure, had, also had 285 also, touches. Uh, there was exactly. also a few games. He, 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 he had doubled 30 his yards receptions and two touchdowns. From last yeah. year. He yeah. doubled his receptions. Like, so all the, the, the involvement in the passing game is a big one for me. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of like what I'm looking at. I, I, I love like the, the Derrick Henry, the Dalvin Cook, the guys that just run the ball, but I mean, you want the guys that catch passes. See, it's funny you ask about the guys that just run the ball because... 112 is exactly what does that. Nikki. I go Nikki Chubb. Nikki Chubb. And you can't get in the fucking end zone though. Which I this That's if just I unlucky. if That's I like get Zeke two years ago. If Zeke I get none and then he went off this if year. If I get Nick Chubb at, at, at 12 spots this year, I'm gonna be really happy. Hunt's coming back. Yeah, I, I don't do think too. so. He's re- I didn't realize he, like, he was wants a restricted to. free agent. Yeah, and he, like, oh shit, he's restricted, uh, so a team yeah. can get him, and Either, the Browns can bring him back. Yeah. He also likes Cleveland, but they said. will be under new management. They will yeah. have a new coach. They will have a new GM. So that's, so, that, like, that's, that's a major that thing. A that's why, so, like, all this is t- tentatively, be in a couple tentatively, weeks. right now. And to be honest, that's bad on my part. I didn't realize restricted free agent. I thought he was going to go. I thought he was going to go find another we spot. We all thought about. We all thought that for a long time because I didn't realize he was. I thought he was. So that I'm sorry, that's bad on me. But even still. I'm taking Chubb probably right there or early second if regardless. Hunt is, if Hunt is back for sure, I'm probably not taking he's Chubb. Mo- in the first he's round. probably going to move to like mid yeah, mid early to early team. second for me. Yeah. Um with Chubb, Chubb is a guy Chubb we, is the we best player on that off team just because we just there's so much uncertainty there. But if Hunt is gone, Chubb moves up to around that, you know, yeah. that Henry Kamara oh, mixing sure. conversation. So I, yeah, I think okay. he go I think he goes where I would take him. Let's I'd do take this. him I take him Jesus Christ in this draft. I'd probably take him after Jackson. Yeah. I was going to say, let's probably. do this real quick. Say Hunt is coming back. Yeah. Redo the pick. Who would you take? If Hunt comes back? If we, now we know. Say we know Hunt's coming back. You're not going to take Chubb now. Who would you if take? If you can't think of any guys, I'll give you some yeah, guys. Yeah, I have like two or three guys. Well, I, could, I'm like looking I, at there. I, could take, yeah. I could take D-Hop. D-Hop? I could take D-Hop there. What about Leonard Fournette? Neither of you guys are in that's, on him. No, I'm see. Looking at. It's like one of those, do I trust him? He's one no. of those guys that I still can't buy into. Him. I know. I can't either. He's purely a volume it's like play. It's like a Derek Henry A lot Henry of people be like, too. yeah, he was a volume play, but he didn't get he didn't yeah. get the lucky touchdowns. But like that, there's something to be said. With my first round pick, I think we're all in the same boat. I want to trust that motherfucker to be on there right. every single week and producing exactly what I got. Year year out. Yeah. I would take Chubb over Leonard Fournette any day of the week. Me too. Hunt 100%. or not. So uh, I'm not taking Fournette. This is interesting, man. I'm looking at like the I, the guys in a here. super flex. I uh, mm. I know it's early, but after the first round, like last year, the first three rounds felt like pretty good. Now, yeah, it, now the it second round, like, this is tough. I'm looking at guys, and there's like I could probably fire off like five or six names that probably shouldn't belong in the second round, but might go in the second round. I think like the Kenny only Drake. I think the oh, only. Wait, I, I also no, think, I'm not. Wait, what about Chris Carson? Not, but someone might. Chris Carson can make that play. I don't trust that injury coming yeah. back. Rashad, wait, what did he have? He, he had a uh, what do you call it? The MCL was was Chris. Carson. He had something. MCL is not serious. It's not that. It's not that it's Rashad serious. Penny's it's not that ACL. it's serious. That's the thing. I understand that, but it's not that it's serious. I could see Seattle bringing somebody else in and having well, a committee. Austin I don't know if I trust well, it there. Austin Eckler no. And Melvin Gordon's gone. No. Well, I would like to see. I would like to see. Melvin Gordon's gone. Eckler's 
one hundred two. I the would Chargers like to see are about to fucking collapse. I'd like to see. Oh, where, yeah, big time. I'd like Dude, to see where Melvin Gordon so, goes. Yeah. I'd very years. much like to see where Melvin Gordon goes. Hell yeah. Um, yeah but exactly. no, I don't think it changes that much. I I would probably keep keep if Melvin Chubb Gordon with, goes with the spot to there. what's the team like? Bucks. I was, I was gonna say Bucks or Detroit, Detroit, but like Detroit, I wouldn't I don't want. Think they're I wouldn't want a Detroit running back. But if he's in Detroit, does that what does that do for you? Nothing. I mean, that just fuck like carry ons there. It's, it's true, I guess. But like, carry on. It would be. Yeah. It'd have to be Tampa. Like, I don't or even think Houston. of carry on anymore because like, it doesn't play. No, exactly. It's like, what about Josh Jacobs? What do you think about him? Um, That's a good point. Early second, mid second. Yeah, I'd yeah. Say he's mid second. He's gonna get his two hundred fifty carries. There's gonna be year. a lot of uh, interesting players. Like Josh Jacobs will be interesting to see where he goes. Miles Sanders. Yeah. I want to see what Kenyon Drake. Miles Sanders. I'm not like Drake. high on him, but no, I think no, no, a I lot of people Drake's will be. A very good. What about Devin Singletary? I say late second, early third. Yeah, I wouldn't, for guys I'm that don't take that the high. don't take. Well, about, I'm saying uh, for guys that don't take a running back early, they're gonna rely on a guy like that phone. Yeah, he'll so have you know to be a third I, round pick. For I, me. You know, I'm yeah, that, that's, what, about him. that's what I'm saying. And I know you guys might think I'm a little crazy for this, but I'm keeping my eye closely on Le'Veon Bell. See where he goes. Nah. I think nah, dude, he's, he's gonna get. Shot, he's, he's a value trap. I think again he's for gonna, you. I, he no, is. I think he's gonna oh, be an actual oh, value mean, play. Depending where, on where he's he goes, gonna get where caught he and go yeah. somewhere oh, else. Okay, 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 not okay. on the Jets. I thought you. Okay. I thought you meant high. All right, but he, he hasn't. He hasn't had a productive year in two years. How do I? He's gonna be third. Third round. No, I'm. I'm on third round. If he goes to a good team, even an average or above average team, I'm back. I can't. I will not sell myself on trusting Le'Veon Bell. I'm sorry. Depends. Yeah, we'll see where he goes. It doesn't really matter. To me, and where the, he goes, I'm not trusting him. The team's in a scarce. top echelon pick. I'm not trusting myself to put my faith in Le'Veon Bell, who hasn't had, who hasn't done dick in two years. I'm sorry, I can't. But if you can get him out of value, that's the whole point. Okay, value, fine. Where are you drafting? I'm not taking him in the fifth round. If he falls, fine. Third. No, no, I'm not. No, I can get guys that I know are going to produce week in and week out in the third round over Le'Veon Bell, who I think is a question mark. I don't know where he's going to go, what system he's going to be. In. No. Todd Gurley, Le'Veon Bell. I was just about to fucking ask that question. <laughs> I'd go Todd Gurley. All right. That that solely for me would depend on where Bell goes. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to answer because I don't I'd know. I'd still go Todd Gurley. I would probably go Gurley too. I'll go Gurley right now knowing that are Bell's we, on the Jets. Were we wrong on Todd Gurley this year? Did we take an L on that or no? I think you guys oh, did, took, yeah. We took a big L. Yeah. He kind of took a win. Did. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's like a big L or a big win. It's just like that's a, what I mean. No, because he was I bad. He, people he drafted was, him too high. Right. Yeah, exactly. But he wasn't for, anywhere near where, as bad as what exactly. we thought. Exactly. We thought he, people thought he was going to be like yes. dead by week six. Yes. And I, th- then, I think it was. I, mean, a I thought he was going to be his Actually, normal self. He only ran for eight hundred and fifty yards. But he scored. He scored like carry. thirteen touchdowns. Didn't he scored twelve rushing, two receiving. I mean, all of his numbers were severely. And he was. Yeah. A lot of that came. No, but Nick, a lot of that came in like playoff time fantasy. So that's yeah. why he was like everybody was talking about him. Yeah, all of his numbers dipped. He he scored over 10, 10 and a half fantasy points less per game this year. Yeah, than last year. but he Crazy. was he was the number one like candidate for a regression. Like you knew it was coming, yeah. so you didn't expect him to come in and have twenty touchdowns. Dude, a lot right. of people drafted I, him. In, you drafted him in like the fucking second round. Yeah, that and that's I think he that's where our point. Rushing yards once this. That's year. where our point was. People were taking him the upper echelon of the well, first round and where late should, second. Yeah. We were like no, and I think I think we won on that, but we didn't win on the fact that we were calling him dead, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like legitimately dead because he probably he, went to extremes on something. He, he, he <laughs> I just tone it back a little bit. You would have been all right. <laughs> he rot. He 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 wrote. Ro- fucking dead. I'm pretty sure at one point you were like, you're up to the eighth fucking round, not touching him with a fucking thirty foot pole. Yeah, well that sounds about right. Yeah. All right. All right. That's a good right. first round. Well, that uh, is by the way, hold on, hold on, time. We're not doing another second round, right? That was. What? You want to do the second round too? No, you yeah. idiot. I was gonna say. No, we're doing a full mock draft tonight. Yeah, we're doing all fifteen rounds. I'm sorry if if I was listening to Jeopardy, I thought you guys said we were doing two rounds. We are. No, I mean if you want them, I'm fine. No, I'm we're just not. saying it's a first round mock draft. Okay, first round. Then I thought that was. Hold on. Hold on let me take. I thought that was really good. <laughs> we're like just about to finish it. I know. Can stop? we? Can you say this after the fucking episode? <laughs> What's your problem? You dumb fuck. I have to make sure I'm really pumped up. This is really good. But yeah, that's that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, don't cut any of that. Yeah, fucking end out this, 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 <laughs> end this episode. All right, that's all we got for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this first uh, early mock draft. We got a early lot of, a lot of stuff coming for you. Fade the public. Yeah, let's hear what you have to say down below. I want to hear. What, I want to hear that Michael I Thomas hear some disagreements because I know Teddy there's Bridgewater. Be how high you're taking Lamar Jackson? Well, and if remember, Kamara and remember, is a trap. Who your wide receiver two is is Joe Mixon. The fucking truth. When you guys comment, remember, draft it like you're doing a super flex half point PBR so we can stay on the same line. Just 
Also, we're yeah. going to see uh, some fun. switch ups on FTP for the next couple of weeks because uh, actually, me and Snacks are going to New Orleans for the NCAA championship game. So, wish us luck on coming back be alive. I will be traveling for a couple of weeks after that. Uh, so, I will be out of the contaminated we'll dungeon for, for that long. Oh, so, you'll probably yeah. see a guest in the studio. Uh, I'll be here. So, I, I love you, and I'll see you guys in uh, three weeks. They'll see you next week. Hello. Hit that thumbs up button. Love you. Hey.